All right, what's going on guys, Dagen here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up SSH keys so you can log in to a server without typing in a password, just like so. So, uh, you're going to need two things for this. Uh, we're going to need PuTTY, which is going to be our SSH client to connect to the server, and PuTTY Gen, which we're going to use to uh, generate the SSH keys. Uh, so first we want to open PuTTY Generator. Click on generate. You can change the number of bits in the key, but 2048 works fine. Uh, so click generate, and then in this box, you want to move your mouse around. And what it does basically is takes the position and path of your mouse and use that to generate a key. So once that's done, you can add a comment, doesn't really matter. You want to save the public key, save this to the desktop. Save this to key one. That's the public key, and then save the private key. Uh, you can add a passphrase if you want to. Uh, makes it harder to crack, but I don't. So, yep. Uh, we're gonna key one, and it's gonna save as a PPK, which is a PuTTY private key file type. That's fine. Um, Uh, the only downside with that is you're only able to use it with PuTTY and uh, you can't import it into like if you switch over to a Linux box or anything. Um, but you can always re just regenerate the keys. Okay, so actually let's open that back up. Let's load the key. Load the key right here. So this right here is your public key. This is what you want to copy into the authorized keys files. Uh, so we're going to select all and copy that. So now we want to connect to our server. So in this case, it is 192.168.0.11. Um, type in our password. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you don't have any keys already installed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the home directory of the user uh, that you want to use the key on. You can't use the same key for two users on the same box, but you can use the same key for two different boxes if you want to. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make a directory and call it .ssh. And then we're going to go to cd home.ssh. And we're going to make a file called authorize. keys. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and sudo nano authorize keys. And nano's not installed, so we're going to install that real quick. And we just want to paste that in. Um, select all, copy, and this is it. Oh, paste. Okay. And then we want to hit Control X for exit, Y to save it, and hit enter. Next thing you want to do is edit the SSH server to disable clear text passwords that way the only way to sign into the server is with an SSH key so we're going to vim etsy ssh sshd underscore config uh, you can disable permit root login if you want to or you can set it so it only uses an SSH key so if you want to have it only use SSH keys you can do prohibit password uh, to disable clear text passwords, um, you want to go down here to uh, password authentication, uh, delete the hash mark in front of it, and change this to no. And then we want to write and quit with escape colon wq, and we want to restart the SSH server.
and we're going to go ahead and log out. Okay, so now the key is installed on the server. Next, we're going to go into PuTTY. We're going to type in our username at and then the IP address, which is 11. And instead of hitting open, we want to go down here to SSH and click this little plus. Go to auth. And here is where you're going to find the location of your private key. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to that and choose that PPK file. And you want to go back up to session and um, give it a name. And click save. And every time you double click that, it will open it up. I'm just not going to save it. And you can see it signs in with the username, it authenticates with the key, and it successfully signs in. That way you don't have to put any password or anything. Um, and you can do the same thing for the root user and generate another key. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.